Wow, today we finally got NBA 2K23 gameplay from many creators. I watched a 24 minute video, 47 and 16. Now I'm going to take the most important parts and combine them into one video. Please note each creator's link will be in the description and I do advise that you guys go watch those as well to get extra information. It's about to be crazy. Tomorrow we got the builder information coming out and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Watch a bunch of people's videos and then combine everything I think that's really important into one video. So of course, you know, sadly I was not invited to community day, but I'm still doing my best to give you all important information so look a lot of people were quick to just freak out about the stamina and the dribbling from joe's video joe's video is going to be in here some clips from that but i know a lot of people have already seen it so i'm going to like put that towards the end the first one i'm going to show is from yad man he had a very good video and he's also an extremely underrated creator so i'm going to roll that let's get it real quick though prize picks is hooking y'all up if tom brady passes for literally one yard on sunday you win just use my link in the description to get started and make money off just having sports knowledge then on top of that if you use my code prize Prize picks will match and double your first deposit. So if you put $10 in, they'll give you $20 to go crazy with. Use my link in the description to do this. Thank you to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. Great news for the people that love to do standstill dribbling, even some movement dribbling. When y'all see my videos tomorrow with some better SIGs on, you will see what I'm talking about. Most of my standstill combos don't drain no stamina. You really only have to worry about the stamina if you're one of those that just spam size up dribbles, right? Spam D rows left and right, right? Guess what? That is gone. That is patched. Like I said, people were freaking out about the dribbling, and it wasn't just the teasers who want to left, right. If you see the clip, which we will show in this video from Joe's video, a lot of people were like, whoa, this is insane. You run out of stamina so fast. It's not going to be that bad. Of course, when we get those badges on and Gatorade and Gym Rat, things are going to be different. But of course, it's not going to be as overpowered as last year. Like he said, if you want to left, right, that's gone, buddy. You only got three of those boosts. They might, you know, move it up to four or something like that, but it's pretty much gone. Like you're still going to be able to move around and hunt for your three. You're just going to have to be really smart with it, which is how the game should be. So let's roll the next clip. You're not about to just be speed boosting left and right anymore. That is gone. You do it a couple of times and you're looking like flight reacts. All right. First of all, that was great information that he put there, but you can also see that the standstill dribbling isn't that big of a deal. You're able to sit there, you know, cross up and decide from those moves where your opponent is going to go to try and counteract that. You see what I'm saying? You're just not going to be able to go boom to the left super fast, boom to the right super fast over and over and over and then still be able to green a 15% contested shot you know at the end of the shot clock but all right let's roll the next one no but on a real note the adrenaline boost will not be activated when you do a momentum or standstill combos only when you boost out to run like a legit run as you see the speed boosting looks real clean you just got to be smarter with what you're going to do on the play so look real quick man if this video gets 10,000 likes i'm gonna drop the most detailed all combined of every single person's video tomorrow on this page instantly like i'm talking about every single person best info all combined right here i got you guys but anyway i shouldn't even have to say this anymore you gotta be watching this entire video mike wang made a tweet about the adrenaline boost that is very important he said adrenaline boost notes you won't lose boost in the back court should help pgs beat the press when you run out of boost if you pass and wait off ball for a few seconds you'll get one boost back regen timer only counts when your energy bar is 50 percent full or more so in a competitive scene it does sound like this year you're really going to have to take that two guard combo and mix it real good even on the threes court maybe the uh meta will be a two guard combo of course there's going to be many things you're going to be able to run a really good guard and a lock or a really good guard and an sbh i don't know it's going to be really nice to see let's get into the next one all right it's no more rim running just rim running you're going to need to get that three ball as well and let me tell y'all something right now if you shoot these whites on a, on a usual if y'all usually just shoot white, your time has come, bro. All right, first of all, that clip was crazy, bro. There is three things to break down from that. The dribbling looks great. It looks very, very like 2K22. And he said that even though rim running seems very overpowered right now, as we all know from the news, you're not just gonna be able to run in there. You know, you gotta get a good angle. You gotta get by your defender. So we'll see how that goes. Of course, if you have like real low strength and you're a 5'11 guard, that is not going to be the same exact thing. But then he said, if you're out there shooting whites, you are 50. You're done for. You better be draining them shots this year. You better know your shot on 2K23, and I cannot wait to see it. Let's get into the next one. Y'all wanted a realistic game. The great players are going to be on top again. The people that took skill, 
with cheese, not just cheese and cheese. That's it, right? I really like how he explains that because a lot of people seem to say that like people that are play shots take no skill. Like someone in the 2K league is not good. I mean, they're definitely going to beat park players like 99 times out of 100 or 100 times out of 100. Of course, people are tired though of seeing that left right meta, but now those players are going to adapt you know what i'm saying they're going to adapt to what the meta is this year and you're going to see what that's going to be on the game and then probably people are going to say that takes no skill as well but all i'm saying is man it's good to hear that skill is going to prevail in 23 and let's get into the next one it's like swante said man a lot of y'all just don't want to see guards prosper in the game but i got bad news for you you still gonna have a hard time going against guards that know what they're doing trust me whether you like it a steph curry build should be dominating in 2k i mean that dominates in real life but no five tens five foot nine is dominating in the nba right now you know what i'm saying so i'm glad 2k is probably going to not be seeing as much of that this year but once again everything should have its own balance like if you make a build that can shoot very good and dribble very good that's what it should do you know what i'm saying but you shouldn't be able to get quick drops and everything else all that type of stuff you know what i'm saying you should be missing out in other categories Categories. Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time, arguably, you know, right there with LeBron and stuff, but he's got like a 50 rebound on the game. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't, he can't do everything. So that means your build shouldn't do everything. Now I see why people want superstar builds in the game. And honestly, yesterday I was going a bit too far. The reason why I'm happy is just because 22 was a bit too far. It was like super superstar. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a balance. You shouldn't be way too role player and you shouldn't be too superstar. I don't understand how a lot of people want a team basketball game, especially like older people, which is completely fine to be old but then they want five lebrons on the court you know what i'm saying it's got to be a little bit fair you shouldn't have a lebron on every position at the court but let's roll the next one i was not 50 i'm gonna tell you that right now i was shooting on hall of fame difficulty better than i was probably ever shooting before but if you do not have a right jump shot on and you're 50, you're going to miss everything. Right there, it clarifies a lot up to me that shooting is going to be just fine as long as you're good at the game and know your jump shot. But if you don't, well, you're not going to be able to shoot blindfolded this year, little Timmy 37 with your play shot with 37 Hall of Fame shooting badges. Like, you're going to have to know your jump shot. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to know real basketball, and that is what is going to succeed from what we see right now, of course. A lot of things can change, but let's get into the next one. Look, man. In this whole Jordan challenge, all the whites I shot, I didn't hit only but one of them, right? That's it. Only one of them. If you out here shooting whites, you're done for it. All right, that was our last Yad Man clip right there. Now we're going to move into Laker fan. But once again, he's clarifying that you have to know your shot on 2K23. And let's get into Laker fans' first clips. These behind the backs, this is like Jordan's animation for the behind the back. It's very good as well, I must mention. And as you can see, it's not burning adrenaline on either of those. I think it, I think personally, the adrenaline boost and what kills them is you like go side to side movement a whole lot more this downhill movement doesn't seem to burn the adrenaline boost quite as much all right so this one's going to be a little bit questionable and we're going to have to speculate a little bit on what we're seeing so when he came up the court as mike wing already said you're not going to lose those adrenaline boosts but he did an explosive move past half court and was still able to not use his adrenaline boost so maybe mike wing's talking about like once you finally get up the court it doesn't use it or there's actually going to be some explosive moves that do not drain your adrenaline boost so we'll have to see more like when the game comes out like the builder and all that stuff that's going to come out tomorrow because there's going to be more gameplay tomorrow with the builders you know them testing like actual builds in the my career type thing but right now we don't really know let's get into the next one we got three bars right here and as soon as i go for the steal on the bump right here you can see it goes away so definitely something to keep in mind um if you're someone who spams passing lanes you're done <laughs> you're done for because you're gonna see it later in this footage i was testing that a little bit on the inbound i was just bro all these creators that are laughing during these gameplays uncle demi laker fan yeah man they're all laughing it's great like their excitement for the game and things that are like usually not something that should be in the game being out is amazing now you can't just sit there in the corner and just spam that steal button so that they can never pass it into the corner now you actually have to time it correctly or you're going to lose your adrenaline boost you're not going to be able to just sit there and just spam it over and over and never be able to pass to your teammate you know what i'm saying so anyway let's get into the next one dunk meter flashing right here i mean that's a good timing i'm not gonna lie but again robert Parrish, he is just shutting stuff down at the rim <laughs> like it's just an elite rim protector and it's just a tough time to deal with 
But anyway, so this dude gets the ball. So as we all know from the news that we've heard, now keep in mind, slashers have been really OP. I'm not even going to be the first one to say that. You guys see that, watch my gameplay. Slashers have been great. If you know how to slash, they're good almost every single year. But from the news that we've heard, we were like, wow, slashers are going to be so broken. And they're probably still going to be very good, which they should. You know, slashers should have their own part in the game, just like a little Steph Curry build. You know what I'm saying? Every build should have their own part in the game. But what I'm saying is we have now seen that once you go up against a rim protector, it's not necessarily going to be the same thing. So we'll see when the part gameplay actually comes out. But right now, it's looking so balanced. Like if you're a rim protector and you made that build to stuff people at the rim, it's going to be a lot harder for them to just dunk on you all day. Basically what I noticed, man, any explosive movement you do is going to take an adrenaline meter. So you see every explosive behind the back that I do, I lose it. And look at how I move once I lose those adrenaline meters. You are slow as a snail. Now I'm blinking and I have no adrenaline meter. You're useless. So now we're on to Joe Noah's part. And as you can see, this is why people were freaking out. Of course, they might still have a lot of reason to do that even after seeing the first clips that we just watched. But I really don't think it's going to be that bad. First of all, we do not have our actual builds created we've seen that standing still dribbling is gonna be great and we've also seen that if you use those boosts wisely from yad man it's probably not going to be as bad as people have made it out to be so we'll have to see once we really get those builds and that information is literally coming tomorrow where they can test out these builds and all that type of stuff and then we'll go from there you see what i'm saying so anyway guys make sure you have on notifications by the way and subscribe because i'm literally combining everything tomorrow just like i did today but tomorrow's is gonna be way more important of course like i said i do advise you to go watch every single other creator as well these guys were invited out to the community day for a reason you know some of them were next makers they're allowed to post this stuff early go watch them as well and let's roll the next clip check this out obviously it is michael jordan take that into consideration he's one of the best drivers of the ball we've ever seen but look at this animation i just manhandle this dude throw the shoulder into him move him out of the way <laughs> I want y'all to give me your opinions on that right there in the comment section down below. I feel like MJ, of course, is MJ. He had a full head of steam, and that player probably didn't have a lot of strength. I do want to see what it looks like when you go up against a player that does have a good amount of strength, but I don't think it's going to be the same result, and that's basketball. If you make a 5'11 guard, 6'1", you don't have a lot of strength, you are going to get bullied. I mean, you're, you're going to get bullied. It's going to be bad. Now we're seeing that the strength is actually going to matter. Let's get into the next one. A couple clips here. First thing you're gonna notice is the dunk meter is not that little circle thing that we had last year on Next Gen. It is actually looks like a shot meter, which like I said, makes it a lot easier to times. Also, I like the fact how it looks because it doesn't, I feel like the other meter was like in the way of the dunk. You didn't even really get to see the animation. Now I feel like this meter, it's off to the side. It's not taking away from the actual contact dunk animation. Easier to time is pretty wild. Like I've already told you guys, I think on 22 next gen, it was easy already. I mean, the only thing that was difficult about it was that you're actually delayed, like, you know, taking a jump shot. So the meter isn't exactly how it is. Like in my career, you'll see the difference between that and then doing it in the park. But I don't know. Easier is pretty wild. Let's get into the next one. Catering and favoring slash. So let me just show you all some of these clips I was getting. Again, it's with Michael Jordan against the computer. So take it with a grain of salt. But some of these layups, man, and a lot of people were talking about it was like saying like layups going like crazy. Like some of these layup animations and some of these shots I'm hitting like with no stamina, low stamina. I'm going up against like Robert Parrish. Like he's a big center, a good rim protector. And I don't know, man. Some of these layups I feel like shouldn't be going in, but they were like that shit. I that should not go in in my i i know it's michael jordan i, I mean spin no stamina like fading layup floater I, I, take it with a grain of salt man it's basically my career with michael jordan against the computer literally like he said take it with a grain of salt you're in the jordan challenge and of course there's probably a difficulty but i would say most people were playing on a lower difficulty just to like figure it out and stuff like that but what i'm saying is it's not probably going to be that bad of course if you don't have paint defense it really might be that bad but we will see how the builds even out when the game comes out guys i'll probably be uploading again today because we have a lot more information coming out right now as we speak but drop a like hit that subscribe button if you're new and tomorrow is gonna be huge you're gonna want to be here hit that notification button if you didn't watch the last video you're missing out so make sure to click one of those last two videos right there and of course click the links in the description and go watch these videos for yourself and i'm out peace